Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in the PyMongo tutorial. PyMongo is a program to interact with MongoDB. As you all know, MongoDB is no SQL. And if you're here, I'm assuming you already have MongoDB installed. If not, go to their official website and download the community server and also MongoDB Compass. Uh, Compass gives you a GUI to manage MongoDB, so it's much better to you know sort of manage uh, MongoDB using MongoDB Compass. So once that is done, uh, you know, uh, come back to the uh, tutorial, right? So MongoDB in itself is a very huge topic. So I will not get into the details, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to talk about two things. One is collections as well as documents, right? Collections are akin to tables in SQL. For example, to store data about employees within an organization, you will create an employee table in SQL, right? Similarly, to store data about employees in MongoDB, you will need to create an employee collection, okay? This employee collection will hold the actual data, also called documents, okay? Documents are the actual data. This is similar to data entries in the table, right? Each row, like as you say, right? That's, that's, the, that's this, right? Uh, in the MongoDB world. Right? The difference here is that the data is stored in key value pairs like Python dictionaries or JSON, right? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a key value pair, okay? Right, so let's head to MongoDB Compass and create a database and a collection. I'm here in uh, MongoDB Compass. Uh, you can see it's a nice uh, graphical user interface where I can create databases and collections, import data and everything, okay? But uh, for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a particular database, right? Uh, first, I'll create a database here. Uh, let's say here I'm going to create a database called HRMS. So consider that this is an application uh, which is for HR management. I'm going to store details about employees. So I'll say employee as the collection. So HRMS is the database name and employee is the collection name, okay? And I'll create it. Right, now you can see there's an HRMS database as well as a collection named employee. And here I have the option to add data and everything, okay? Uh, but I'm not going to use GUI, uh, sorry, Compass to import data, but I'll be using PyMongo, okay? Right. To now start using PyMongo, I'll first just create a folder here. Let's say learning. Oops, sorry. learning PyMongo. Right. I'll get inside the folder through the terminal. I am it's empty here. Right. Right. So the first thing that I will do is I will create a virtual environment uh, within this particular folder so that uh, whatever uh, packages we are installing, in this particular case PyMongo, will be there only within that particular virtual environment. So I will create that first. Right. Yes, so the virtual environment is created. I'll just activate that. Right, I'm now within the virtual environment, as you can see here. Oops, sorry. As you can see here, I'm within the virtual environment. Now what I will do is I'll install uh, PyMongo. Great. Now, just clear this and I will open an, a new file in. I just open up uh, atom this that is what I'm going to use yeah just enhance it Stop. And just name the Python file as learn mongo.py. Yes. 
So now this is the file where we'll be using, uh, sorry, this is the file where we'll be doing uh, the entire tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So to get started, we'll have to first import uh, PyMongo. Let's say import PyMongo, right? So the first thing that we have to do when we are trying to interact with MongoDB is to create a connection, is to open a connection, right? For that, we will need to, you know, uh, use something called Mongo client within uh, the PyMongo. So what I will do is I'll just create a client here, which will connect uh, to MongoDB. So let's say PyMongo, Mongo client, okay, and then. I'll just say MongoDB. This is the URI to connect, and I'm uh, sort of installed uh, MongoDB in uh, localhost in the, in the in the computer here itself. So two seven zero one seven. This is the port, basically. Okay. So this is localhost, my own computer, and this is the port in which uh, MongoDB is running. So this is how you open a connection. So here I just say open a connection to great. Next, what we have to do is we have to get the database, right? So what we'll do here is we have created HRMS as a database, right? So HRMS DB we will call client HRMS. Basically, this client that's here, and the name of the database that we created, in this case here, HRMS, this one. Yeah, so this will get the HRMS database. The next thing what we have to do is we have to get the collection, and we have named the collection as employee. So I'll get that. So well, let's say employee collection equals. So we have to get that HRMS database and then say employee. Did we name it employee or employees? Employee. Employee. That will get the collection. Now, what we'll have to do is whatever operations we will we'll do, we'll be doing here in this section. And finally, what we'll have to do is we'll have to sort of close the connection. So we'll just say client dot close. So here is where we'll do the DB operations like you know, insert, uh, read, delete, update, all those operations we'll be doing here. And finally, we have to close the connection. Right. This is how you sort of connect to a MongoDB database using Mongo client. Get the database, get the collection, do some operations, and then close it. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we will start to insert data into MongoDB.